it's me. Figured I'd give you guys like a little update. I know I haven't posted a video in a little bit, but after I left Slab City and went to Borrego Springs, I headed to another town outside of Borrego Springs to stay for a couple of days while I went to South Carolina to take care of some doctor's appointments. Joey stayed here at the camper with Banks. I flew to South Carolina. It was really uneventful and then I came back and now I'm back and I'm basically just waiting to get my procedure done. In a couple days we are going to head to Big Bear because we never got to go skiing like I thought we were but I still want to try that really bad so I figured you know what might as well go before I have this procedure because I'm not going to be able to do anything super cool for a little while after that. I just have to be really careful with the healing process. So we're going to go skiing in Big Bear and I will be documenting that and you guys should see that happen before I have uh, my procedure. So after you see the skiing and everything, basically for like the whole month of April I might be kind of out of it. I will be documenting my procedure but I don't want to like post about it until after I'm like completely healed. For those of you guys that don't know, back when I was in college, I was coming home from Steak and Shake and I was in the passenger seat of a friend of mine's car and we got in a car accident and it broke my nose and ever since then I haven't been able to breathe out of the right side of my face and it causes like a lot of pressure and sinus problems and I get these migraines like almost on a daily basis because of it. So I'm going to finally fix that and be able to breathe out of here, which is gonna be really cool. I think they're just gonna open up the inside here. Oh, it'll be great. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well because I would like to breathe evenly. So that's the procedure that I am having done. It is in April, like I said, Probably won't be super active in April, but that's okay. I hope you guys can stick around and have some patience with me while I heal from that. Other than that, not really much has happened. I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to find more work online recently. Um, I'm trying to, you know, find new sources of income. And I may have found something helping this one company reach out to different influencers for like collaborations and promotions. We'll see how that goes. I decided not to get the step van and build that out. I still would really like to do that one day in life, but I just don't think that would be a smart move for me financially right now to invest in a step van and then however much it takes to build it and everything. I don't know. It's, I, I have a trailer. I have a home. I don't need to like sell this and do a new one. It wouldn't even be an upgrade. It would just be switching rigs, I guess, for more stealth purposes. But I don't actually need to do that. It was just going to be a cool like venture. But I'm just going to hold off on that for a little while. However, I'm still going to sell the step van. So um, know anyone that's been interested in getting into van life and they're looking for a step van, getting the one that has like one of the best engines that you can get in a step van. It's the Freightliner MT45 Cummins engine diesel. A lot of people I've talked to like really dig that engine and they say that that's a really cool um, thing to have in a step van. So it's a 12 foot box. It's plain white truck. Um, step van. Here's a picture. If anyone is interested in that, I've seen a bunch of them going online for like $13,000 or so, but I'm willing to sell mine for much cheaper. So if you or anyone you know is interested in starting in van life and they want something bigger than a van but more stealth than a trailer, here's your middleman. Let me know. Send me an email. It'll be in the description below. It's basically all I have for you guys right now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I know this was short. It was just a little update. Just want to inform you guys what's going on. Oh, and I'll, somehow I ended up in a music video for a girl named Mad. Here's here's a little clip of that. I'm pretty 
pretty sure that's about everything. If I have anything else, I'll just throw it in at the end. If not, subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my travels. Uh, and if you want to join in the step van life into van life in general or life on the road, I've got a vehicle for you. So let me know. All right. Bye, guys.